It's not like I'm worried about getting knocked up. I know. We're talking about birth control today, so I'm going to kind of leave a little oh, bit. But oh. I want your opinions. we got a request. Oh, thank you. I get to participate. <laughs> She's very generous today. <laughs> so the pill, which in your day was a nightmare, and women got cancer and all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, it was too strong, yeah. Now they have a lot of low dosage, so that is an option. But it depends on you and your body. Some women do not have a good time on the pill. And then they claim it decreases your libido. I wouldn't know. I mean, I think for me that's a good thing because I well, have the libido of a gay man. The only time I hesitate about you going off the pill is I start <laughs> to think about her libido will... Uh, no, uh, her desire for... I don't like the word. Her desire for sex will increase. Can you imagine? No, I think the pill's a good option for me. No, I don't. Not now. Well, she wants me to go on the diaphragm. That was your favorite method. Oh. And she went through the group sex scene of the sexual revolution with the diaphragm. Okay, so here it is with the diaphragm. Barrier method, totally simple. The pharmaceutical companies don't make a penny off of it. It's practical. It's No, it is, and I now understand it comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And you have to go to your gynecologist and get fitted. For some reason, Planned Parenthood isn't pushing the diaphragm. Well, because, you know, I don't know why. Well, be, I know why, because you have to be sex positive to use it. You have to put your fingers inside yourself, touch your body, I mean, I had a diaphragm when I was in my 20s, and I kind of liked it. It became part of the sex act. Oh, I had a couple of lovers that the, that the whole thing was inserting my diaphragm. It was kind of sexy. Yeah, we played doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the IUD. And what's the problem with the IUD? You know, it, that it, it's, it, they have this new one that they say is la di da And you get to put it in, you don't have to deal with it every month. And that's the just, whole point. It's it, there. It's there. And it looks like a little V. If it's you a get plastic V. If you get pregnant while wearing one, how it works is that you have a spontaneous miscarriage. So that's, i.e., the heavy bleeding. So you're always having heavy periods. I would hate that. You're getting pregnant and then losing the pregnancy. Getting and I don't think that's healthy. I don't. I don't. At all. I don't. I long for the diaphragm to come back for the sake of women's health and to just let the pharmaceutical companies know we do not need you to gouge us with your expensive damn medicines. Well, because they have the Norplants and the Depo shots, but there's been all kinds of side effects and litigation now, and that's not really healthy. Do you want to have something implanted in your arm that's releasing hormones? No. I'd rather take the pill at that point if you're going to do go that way. That I would prefer you know the I mean? pill. Yeah, much better than that, because they're and so low doses. What is this late, the latest birth control thing coming out of Canada where young women are dying from it? Well, the yes. You only have like four periods a year. You know that's sick. You You're supposed to bleed. You know, it's part of life, I think. You have well, to get that out of you. Cleansing the uterus. Yes, it has to slough off the, the lining every month. That's the whole purpose of it. So if you disrupt that with your birth control. I'm telling you, just Mother Nature knows what she's doing. And another thing that I found out is that the withdrawal method, how we always go, no, 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 no. Well, because the Catholics always get pregnant that way. Well, except if it's done properly. It's not bad. And the other thing... The, the guy has to have cum control. Which is what my, mo my mother said. The, your father was so wonderful. He had such marvelous uh, uh, control. Some guys do and some guys don't. Well, then you got a problem. And when it comes to condoms, it's hard for the woman to carry the condoms because they're sized guys. Get it? So we can bring a couple of condoms in the bag, but how do we know what your size is? We don't. We'd have to have a small, medium, and a large condom. Yeah, exactly. And you never know what you're going to get, right, a one-night stand. So it's really up to the man to buy the condoms, try them on, make sure they fit. Because if they don't fit, they're going to break. Yes, and they have you know? to know how to, how to use them. And I love that Eric figured that. Because the one thing I worry about is that it's going to come off when they pull out. Yes. He puts a cock ring around the base of the condom. Which is smart. And a vibrating cock ring. So she, it's oh, her pleasure, keeps the condom on. Yep. It's really an interesting. And the girls like that a lot. <laughs> we must, women, must take control of our birth control and the birth process. It's our bodies, and this is what we know to do intuitively. Take control, sisters.